Hello and welcome to Feeding on Jesus International, where we believe that through the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ, we can feed and nourish the hungry. When the storms of life rage, Psalm 46 verse 1, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Amen. Beloved, storms of life, you know them well. They overwhelm you, wave after wave of relentless battling that knocks you off your feet so you don't know which side is up. Till every ounce of energy is used up and you feel so weak, abandoned and lowly. Perhaps you are caught in one of life storms right now. When the disciples of Jesus were out at sea, caught in a turbulent tempest and tossed by the waves who came to them in their darkest hour. Yes, Matthew chapter 14 verses 22 and 23. It was Jesus himself. Jesus came in style walking on the raging waters. The loving Savior came to them at their exact point of need to rescue them. What does this tell you or what does it tell us? That Jesus is above the storms. Jesus walks above. He is greater than every adversity and opposition that you may be facing right now. And Jesus comes to you to rescue you. With the billowing waves beneath his feet, his first words to his disciples were, don't be afraid. Take courage. I am here. Matthew chapter 14 verses 27. What comfort those words must have brought to the disciples who were exhausted and shaken with fear for their lives. Beloved, when the storms of life rage, don't go by what you see and hear all around you. Don't go by your negative feelings and emotions. Live by the truth of God's word, which encourages you to be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not panic, for the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6. Our God, beloved, is a personal and loving God who is with you in your boat right now in the midst of the Halloween storm. Jesus knows how to lead you to victory every time you call upon him. Jesus cannot fail you. Amen. Share this video and bless your soul. Shalom.